Hey everybody, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and I'm going to do the quick walkthrough for our mid-century modern design auction, which is October 11th, 12th, and 13th, 2022. It's a three-day auction, about 1,700 lots, and uh, each day we do a little bit around 600 lots, uh, starting at 10 a.m. on each of those days. Preview for this auction is Monday, October 10th, 2022, at our gallery here, 2500 Market Street, Aston, PA, Upper Chichester, same place. I'm going to do a walkthrough, uh, just an overview real quick so you can see the quality and the quantity of stuff that's here. I'm not going to spend time looking at each item right away. And then I'll go through and do um, a listing of all the items kind of in order. And we'll stop and look at some items. So if you just want an overview of flyby, here it comes. In the next minute or so, I'm going to walk through the uh, entire auction here. This is about day one. So we've just finished day one, the first about 600 items. Now we're going to start day two. Day two starts over here, and it includes all the art on the wall over there. Lots of good pottery, artwork, Werner Panton, etc. Then once we finish the lobby, I mean, once we finish that area, we go to the lobby, which includes good artwork, bells, more artwork. Now, all these items are open for preview on Monday. You can come and see these items in person on Monday, October 10th. So now we're over here. This is the uh, middle of the second day. The second day comes along around here, and we continue through here. Here's all day two. Day two. We continue down. I'm going to assume you saw the back of that wall. This is all day two. Day two. And this little lobby area down here is day one. So as you can see, there's lots of sets of chairs, artwork, etc. Once we finish day two, then we get into day three. This is the end of day three that we're looking at right now. And uh, I'm going to walk around the end of day three. Some good items all the way through. You have teak and 70s formica and chaise lounges mirrors plastic ware colorful items great mirrors great artwork rosewood x base benches all the way through some good mobiles and that's the end of day two or day three make it and i'm walking over here to show you the beginning of day three Day three starts over here, Turner Chair, 1201, some other nice items there. All here through 1200, all these items are the end, the beginning of day three. So day three would be the 13th of October. Bidding is on our website at uniquesandantiques.com, where you can take a shortcut and get there by going to auction up. It's also on live auctioneers and invaluable. And then we pit those platforms against each other, find out a winning bidder, sell it, and move on. All right, so now that you've seen pretty much in three minutes the entire room, the 1,700 items, now let's take a little bit more time. You can see some of the better items, and I'll kind of try to highlight some of them. Now, here's one of the reasons people like to watch the video is to see the items in scale. Like, look at the size of this amazing brass turtle. Now, if you see that in the catalog, you say, oh, that's a nice big turtle, but look at this one right here. This one's a lot smaller. See, there he is right there, the hand on his back. And this one, right here, I put my hand on his back, way smaller. Very big turtle. That's also a loose back. The back comes off. All right, so let me come around this way. There's the uh, nice uh, sheep, Paco, Paco style. Uh, some of the better items in the auction over here, some small items. This is a nice lot 86, the Pinon, Alessandro Pinon bird. Very nice. Come back this way, you got good art pottery, European art pottery, so good, lots of Hagenauer, little miniature Hagenauer groupings right here in the early 20s. This is all on the Tuesday session. We accept phone bids and absentee bids. Phone bids are items that you need to start at least 300. This, there's a whole section here of craftsman furniture. Like look at this uh, little music stand right here, very much like a Wendell Castle style. Uh, in the back, Wharton Ashford, should I just say. In the back, you have more kind of multi-exotic woods. You have some good carvings, some good statues. 
very nice art. There's, this piece is like outsider art over there. There's some good animal figures. There's a collie. There's a Great Dane near the door. These lamps are amazing. They're solid bronze, and they probably weigh about 55 pounds each. They are so heavy. You can't even pick them up with one hand. You can't. All right, so moving on. Here's some more artisan pieces. Here's some Adam Henderson sculpture. Here's some other artisan tables coming along in through here. I didn't walk back down this area. I have some good tablewares. That's Stephanie Lincoln on the top there, local artist. This is Peter Payone right here. It even has the Peter Payone box. Very interesting. Right here you have the Warhol print, a nice large one. You have the after Dali statue. Moving on through here. See Jer, you have some nice Demott bridge sculpture. You have the after Rodin, kind of bronze scream. Some very cool pottery lamps in the 250s. We continue on. So uh, the Robert Andi Indiana, here's a porcelain kind of Italian looking pig. I think it's Italy. Let me come around the front here. This looks like Peter Vitt. Paul Evans. Look at this nice little tea cart right here. Lot number 170. Around the front here, you have these, um, they're kind of buried back here, but they're the Wendell Castle molar chairs. There's a white one. There's a black one underneath it. And the molar table, which is rare. Underneath that, you have a nice travertine, large coffee table. Look at these great... Uh, kind of teak. Yeah, probably one of them's Wagner, I think. And uh, the other one is Ducks on the coffee tables. Look at these great kind of hairpin stands. There's three that are like this. Let me continue on. All right, here's Herman or George Nelson for Herman Miller on the ebonized chest. And on top of that, a pair of nice American modern nightstands. Around the corner here, Danish nesting tables. You have some very stylish single... Uh, Drexel side table. Here's a set of three. We have a single table to a set of three nightstands. What are you going to do with them? Lot 360 with the individual drawers. Very nice. There's a lot of uh, kind of 80s teak and mahogany, uh, teak and uh, mid modern design Danish in this auction. We did a couple estates of the houses that were the original owners of the stuff. They outfitted the place and now they're retiring to smaller place so everything in the house had to go nice little set of tables let me continue on let me see the rest of day one the rest of day one is down around this way all right so now we're about finished day one you know where i didn't go is the tile room so let me also do here so these are in day two the 1080s it's a nice grouping of statues and brass and lamps. Here's the 1070s, China, antique. And one thing I didn't talk about on the other side, at the end of day three, there's a lot of group lots from our, our dear friend Sandy Berman's house. Passed away uh, a few months ago. So this room right here, which we didn't go in at all, is also part of day one. You have sets of these, pairs of Eames, LC, LCWs, you have good other Eames in here. You have the shell chairs, you have the butterfly chairs, you have the graphic mirrors, more Eames, sets of Danish dining chairs. Then we come along here. People were asking about the mechanisms on these recliner chairs. I don't know what we decided on them, but can't do it with one hand I have to check it out so there's a nice pair of like almost Keegan style recliners back here you have very interesting blocks and wicker and these chairs are amazing but I think they need to be reupholstered they're they're vinyl down here you have Hans Wegner style all right so now let's go to day two we're finished day one. Now we're on Wednesday, October 
12th. And we start here in this kind of area over here. We have the Peter set right here, the grasshopper set. Here's the matching drop leaf table for the Arnie Jacobson. You have the um, George D'Amato's. So we have George D'Amato art. There's also George D'Amato sculptures. So then we continue on around the corner here. Here's some of the, the higher, the, the clean Danish furniture we got right out of a house. Um, very clean, very kind of 80s, maybe 90s quality stuff. It's all so clean, so nice. I personally moved it out of one of the houses in, uh, out in Westchester. Harvey Prober, sets of tables and chairs I hear, kind of rosewood. We come along here. That's the Gisto, the Gisto, Gerald the Gisto. Stacks of tables, more from that house in Westchester right there. Brutalist tables. Here is an awesome little um, desk right here. Yep. Oh no. There you go, selling that nice cubby hole desk around here. Not going to be able to spend a lot of time. You have the laurel lamps, you have the Jer sculptures, you have Arcasante bells on the ground there. These are Carl, this is Carl Springer. The table, all four legs are marked Carl Springer. Back here you have art, colorful, abstract. I'm not going to pull them all out, but there's uh, listings on each item. Now on our website, you can see the condition, you can see the uh, multiple pictures, you can see the dimensions. So don't use this video to preview the auction. Check them out there. All right, nice lot right here, chandeliers. Ah, I missed one of the better chandeliers. I'll, I'll show you in the next room. It's a Tynell. Over here you have Brutalist. You have nice vintage wall hangings. All right, so let's continue day two. What I wanted to point out before we got too far away is in the corner here, we have a nice, um, we have a nice Tynell chandelier made in Finland. Taito, nice one right there with the original glasses. It lights up, it looks beautiful. All right, coming over here, there's another one. This is also a Tynell chandelier made in Finland. Taito, not a, not a copy or a, in the style of. They are by Tynell. All right, let me back up this way. This is also the middle or the beginning of day two. So let me just walk over this direction. We can see some of the nice art. We can see some of the abstract. George D'Amato. Let me stand these guys up. Well, I'm... there's one. Of, there's another George D'Amato, and here's another one. All right, good travertine tables. Look at the base on that one. Copy, but still nice quality travertine table. All right, so we've already, have we already done the lobby? Yes, we have. Okay, so once we finish the lobby, oh, this is a nice Ada Yunkers right here. We have the exhibition booklet from it. Um, backing up. All right, so this finishes out day number two. This is, this is one of the, out of the house in Westchester. See how clean it is. Okay. Nice. All right. Wassily chairs. These are Dunbar sofas. Eight, 863. There's a pair of them. Obviously, they're flipped on top of each other. 879. Very cool corner chair with great, like, kind of 70s fabric. The fabric's in great shape, too. Peter Max. All right. Coming down this way. Here's more from the house in Westchester. This is a nice uh, table that kind of flips open. 
A lot of their stuff is uh, kind of vintage Danish, brand new in the 80s. Some good posters. Jackson Pollock, Sam Francis from the 70s, Jackson Pollock from the 60s. All right, let me continue this way. All right. I haven't been down this aisle yet. More George D'Amato's. On this side, you have slat benches. You have laurel lamps, Tempestini. Some good. Now, I'm doing this video here. This is not everything that's in the auction. You really do need to check the catalog because there's a bunch of sectional sofa sets, etc., that we couldn't fit in the building. So those are put out in one of our storage areas. And then uh, we sell from there, and then when you come to pick it up, that's where we grab it from for you. But the items are in pictures. You can see what they look like. All right, so that's about it for day two. Now day three, which is Wednesday, October 13th, 2022. Make that Thursday, October 13th. We start here. About 1200, 1201, Turner Chair. This is an amazing sofa. Lot number 1206 from the Sandy Berman estate. This was in our house. I'll overlay some pictures from our, from our place in this section of the video. A lot of the items that work came from our place we noted in, our, in, our, um, in the listings because some people wanted to buy things that belonged to Sandy. These were Sandy's right here, lot 1221, the uh, kinetic sculptures. You know, our, our listings on BidSpirit, which is our website, our listings on our website do allow us to upload videos. So that, that type of kinetic sculpture, oftentimes we will upload a video for. All right, chandeliers, beautiful. Parsinger style. You have the good Kamer glass. That, I think that one on the end here is signed Kamer. This one right here, very cool. The green cone shades in the back. Let me go through here one time. You got the raindrop style mirror. You have the sculpture. We're in the early day three. All right, once we get to the 1240s, you know, before I forget, this is the, the, this is the end of day three, 1601, etc. We just walk around here. This is an amazing set right here, Roche Bobois. It's a couple chaise lounges and a kind of a long couch. 1343, the Benny Linden bar stools. Then you have some. LC2 and LC3 style couches down here. Look at the uh, very cool wasp nests. Now, over here, we have items that came from the estate of Sandy, like lot 1758, all of her martini glasses, 1761, barware, 1759, a lot of pottery, uh, 1754, a lot of this was from her place right there, 1753, not from Sandy. 1752 deco items down there at the bottom. All right, and all back here, we just start on the left. It's the 1720s. So all these group lots here are, came from the Sandy Berman house uh, when we helped them liquidate it from uh, North Carolina. But um, we kind of built groupings, things that we wouldn't normally sell. We kind of sold as kind of a tribute to her and the things that she meant to us here at the auction. All right, coming back here, I think, yeah, 1370 is that chandelier. All right, we've got about a minute to go before we're 20 minutes, so let me continue on real quick. We'll finish out day three. I've already walked past the end of day three a couple times so far. So back there, starts at lot 1200, day three. So over here, we're at lot 1390s. That's an amazing chest right there. Not really modern, but it's like, it's like a um, cabinet maker. Beautiful. All right, coming this way, there's a chair like that, like a womb style chair. You have the pottery top tables right there, Danish. You have that one right there, that's like a kidney shaped top all the way up. You have the Bertoya chairs. You have that chair right there, kind of like an egg chair. That might even be one. It's a replica. Let me move this way. I know a lot of these items aren't easy to see. 
but sometimes you can get a shade for a color, you can get a size for a scale by watching the video here. We're in lot the 1400s now. We sell about 45 lots or so an hour, so all these auctions that are uh, near 600 lots are gonna take us 12 hours to get through. So we'll start at 10 in the morning. We will continue selling through probably nearly 10 at night, maybe 11, depending on how long it takes to sell the items. You can bid on our website at uniquesandantiques.com or on live auctioneers are invaluable. If you bid on our website, you'll save 3% uh, by buying there. Buyer's premium is 25%. If you use a credit card, it's 28% on live auctioneers and invaluable. All right, so this has been Ken Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. I hope I'm showing you everything. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and TikTok. And we'll see you at the auction. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.